Hi, I'm Dr. Shannon Fraser, Chief of the Division of General Surgery at the Jewish General Hospital. You're about to watch the correct technique for patient transfer in the operating room. You might think this should be obvious, but unfortunately patients and OR personnel have been injured when this has been done without enough help. Transferring a mobile patient to the OR bed. Note, in order to safely perform the transfer, three people will be required. The orderly will bring the stretcher parallel to the OR bed and lock it into place. The anesthesia team is always at the head and ensures that the OR bed is locked. The patient can then proceed to transferring from the stretcher to the OR bed with guidance from the team. The safety belt is applied once the transfer is completed. Transferring an immobile patient to the OR bed or stretcher. Note, in order to safely perform the transfer, four people will be required. The orderly will bring the stretcher parallel to the OR bed and lock it into place. The anesthesia team is always at the head and ensures that the OR bed is locked. A second orderly will be present on the opposite side of the patient and another member of the team, for example, a nurse, resident, or medical student, will be at the foot. The patient is turned, a roller is then placed beneath the patient, and only on the count of the anesthesia team will we proceed to transferring the patient to the bed. The patient is once again turned, and the roller is removed. The safety belt is applied once the transfer is completed. Note, the same steps will be applied in the post-surgery transfer.